Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number seven, part two, from the October 2022 International A Level at Excel um, Pure Mathematics P4 paper. This question is about integration and um, it says, show by integration that the integral of 3e e to the power of x times cosine 2x with respect to x is going to give you this expression here, p e to the power of x sine 2x plus q e to the power of x uh, cosine 2x plus c, where p and q are constants to be found, and c is the arbitrary constant. All right, now, this is the type of question where you look at this and you think you cannot use any type of integration by um, recognition, reversing the chain rule. I mean, this is a product of two separate functions. One of them is not like the differential of the other. Um, the only way we can really solve this, from what we know, would be by integration, um, by maybe substitution, which you can't really do that either because no function inside another function, or by the only thing really left for us is integration by parts. Now, the problem with this type of question is integration by parts requires two parts to it. You, you, you have two products, or you have a, a pair of products, so you have one of them is called u and the other one is called dv dx. And what we normally do is the one that's called u is the, is the product which, when you differentiate it, it becomes something simpler. It breaks down to something simpler, which will then help us to integrate the whole expression. Now, when you integrate 3e e to the power of x, you get something which is, so, uh, well, so when you differentiate 3e e to the power of x, you get exactly the same thing. It doesn't get any simpler. And when you integrate, when you differentiate, sorry, cosine 2x, you get, uh, when you differentiate it, you get minus 2 sine 2x. So again, it doesn't get any simpler, all right? It doesn't get any simpler. So it's not going to break down and you're not going to be able to get rid of the integral sign. So at first sight, it seems like we cannot use integration by parts. But in fact, this is a type of question where you can, because you're going to keep going around in circles, getting cosine 2x's and sine 2x's and cosine 2x's, and this will, this will be e to the power of 3x, e to the power of 3x. So there's going to be a way that we'll see it's like a special case of integration by parts, which we'll see that this will actually work. Now, this is quite a rare question. It hasn't really come up that often. Um, I taught it to my students, I've saw, I saw it in the specimen paper, and I haven't really seen it in that many of these P4s since then. So it's come up now, and it's something which um, you, know, you should be a, you know, aware of. So now, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, take this expression here, and I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to take this as 3 times e to the power of x cosine 2x with respect to x. I'm going to find what this is and then multiply everything by 3 in the end. I just like to take the constants outside like this. So I'm going to call my u e to the power of x and I'm going to call my dv dx cosine 2x. Cosine of 2x. I could write the other way around, it will still work. But I just write what comes first first. Now that means my du dx therefore is e to the power of x exactly as it is. That's how you integrate e to the power of x. But my v is what we have to do from here, we have to actually integrate. Here we differentiate, here we integrate. Okay, to integrate cosine 2x, well, the integral of cosine of something is the sine of the same thing. But then we divide by the differential of what's inside the function. So divide by the differential of 2x, which is 2. Now, when we use integration by parts, and now in this type of question, what you must always do is write down the original thing that you have. So we have 3 times the integral of e to the power of x times cosine to x with respect to x. Always write down the original thing that we have. So that's going to be equal to, all right, now we're going to have u times v, okay, which is going to be, so I'll, I'll write my 3 out over here. I'll have um, u times v, which is basically going to be a half e to the power of x sine 2x minus the integral of these two multiplied. So always this times this minus the integral of those two. So that's going to be minus, and now we're going to have a half here. I'll write the half outside. e to the power of x times the sine of 2x. That's going to be integrated with respect to x. Okay. And 
I'm going to write the plus zero at the end. So now I have here um, three. I'll, 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 write, I'll keep it like this, no problem, because that's what you have to find in the end anyway. e to the power of x. Cosine of 2x with respect to x is equal to. Now this is going to be three times. Now what we have here is we have another into, what I'll do is I'll first I'll expand this bracket, why not? This will be 3 over 2 e to the power of x sine 2x minus 3 over 2 times the integral of e to the power of x sine 2x with respect to x. Now, here we have another expression which we need to integrate by parts. So again, I'm going to call u e to the power of x and this time my dv dx is going to be sine of 2x. So my du dx stays as e to the power of x, but my v becomes, now if you integrate sine 2x, you get negative a half of cosine of 2x. Because the different integral of sine of something is, cosine, is negative cosine of that thing, then you divide by 2. So now, continuing on from this, now the important thing here is to keep writing this down as it is. So I have here 3 e to the power of x cosine 2x with respect to x is equal to and here I'm going to have this as it is 3 over 2 e to the power of x times sine 2x minus 3 over 2 times then I'm going to use the, the, the integration by parts again so I multiply these two together so I have minus a half e to the power of x times cosine of 2x minus the integral of you're going to have um, this times this. So minus integral of, so I'll have plus a half, because you're going to have minus minus a half, of e to the power of x cosine 2x with respect to x. Okay, so now, simplifying this, always keep writing this down in these kind of questions, because you'll see what happens, this is something important that's going to happen. 3 e to the power of x times cosine 2x with respect to x is equal to, so you've got 3 over 2 e to the power of x times sine 2x. And this is going to give you plus 3 over 4 e to the power of x times cosine of 2x. And here you're going to have, um, here we have, that's going to be um, minus, because you can have minus 3 over 2 times plus a half, which is minus 3 over 4. And you have integral of e to the power of x cosine 2x with respect to x. Okay, so we've just expanded that. Now, what we notice here is, in fact, I should have kept this written out, so it doesn't matter, I can just switch it around. There's no problem whatsoever. I have here three times e to the power of x cosine 2x, and here I have minus three, quarter, three quarters e to the power of x cosine 2x. So here we end up with these two being, like you can say, almost like terms. These are like terms. This is 3 of something, and this is minus 3 quarters of the same thing. So the way to solve this problem to get rid of the integral sign is to basically bring the like terms together. So I'll have 3 times e to the power of x cosine 2x with respect to x plus 3 quarters of the integral of e to the power of x cosine 2x with respect to x. And that's equal to 3 over 2 e to the power of x times the sine of 2x plus 3 over 4 e to the power of x times the cosine of 2x. All right, now these two can be added together. This is like 3 plus 3 over 4. So this is like 12 over 4 plus 3 over 4, which is 15 over 4. Okay, just make that as 12 over 4. Um, so you have, you know, equivalent fractions. e to the power of x cosine of 2x with respect to x is equal to 3 over 2 e to the power of x times the sine of 2x plus 3 quarters e to the power of x times the cosine of 2x. Now, we want to find what the integral of 3 e to the power of x is. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say that this is like um, 5 over 4 times the integral of 3 e to the power of x cosine 2x. Put that 3 back in there. All right, and that's equal to all of this, 3 over 2 e to the power of x times the sine of 2x plus 3 quarters e to the power of x 
times the cosine of 2x, and then I can multiply both sides by 4 fifths. So finally, our answer comes out as 3 times, 3 times e to the power of x times the cosine of 2x with respect to x is equal to, that's 4 times, that's 4 fifths times 3 over 2, e to the power of x sine 2x plus 4 fifths times um, 3 over 4, e to the power of x cosine 2x plus c. You can write the plus c at the end now. Um, I'm just going to try to make a bit of space here. I'll just write it down here, no problem. So that means that's going to equal, I'll just write it here, equals. Now this cancels with this, leaving you with 2, so that's 6 over 5, e to the power of x, sine of 2x, and 4 cancels with the 4, plus 3 over 5, e to the power of x, cosine of 2x, and plus c. So there's the answer to this question. Run out of a bit of space there, but you can go to the next page if you wanted to. Um, so it says, where P and Q are constants to be found and C is an arbitrary constant. So P is what's multiplying the sine 2x. Yeah, so P is 6 over 5. And Q is 3 fifths. And C is just arbitrary con constant. So there's the answer to question number 7, part 2 from the October 2022 Pure Mathematics P4 paper. Um, a different kind of question in terms of integration by parts, but one you should look out for. When you see something like this, where both of them don't disintegrate, and they both kind of, when you integrate and differentiate them, they, you keep going around in circles, basically. You go from cosine 2x to something in terms of sine 2x to something, something in terms of cosine 2x. As you keep integrating, uh, you'll realize that you'll end up with some like integral terms, like we have here and then we can solve the problem. So other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here, October 2022, P2, P4. Other questions from integration by parts can be found in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video, the link for which will show up over here, which will take you to a video which tells you how to use my channel to help you with your revision. Thank you for watching and see you soon.